right. Not sure why I put that little countdown in there. Nonetheless, though, let's go ahead and get started. So, um, this is the introduction to this major project you're going to be working on using Foot Locker kind of as our, uh, our case study to deliver the project. Let's get started. So, we just finished learning about um, some core marketing concepts such as target markets, market share, budgets and financial statements, endorsements, um, reasons why customers buy the things they do, social media and how that um, impacts today's current marketing uh, which leads to innovative marketing campaigns. So to help you connect all of these core marketing concepts together and deep your, uh, deepen your understanding of these concepts, you're going to be working through a mock case study involving Foot Locker. Okay, so basically uh, we've learned um, all of these core concepts but now we really kind of want to apply them in, in real time. So these are uh, some facts about Foot Locker. These are real. These are true. Uh, we all know Foot Locker for shoes, but they, they obviously also uh, sell a lot of athletic apparel like jerseys. They have over 3,600 locations spread all across the world, um, including places like Canada, Australia, New Zealand. They've been around a very long time, 1879. That is a long time, and their headquarters are in New York. So these are facts. And a little bit later, you'll be doing a little bit of your own independent research on Foot Locker. This is just to get you started, started uh, in that process. Now, um, these statistics here aren't facts. This is just part of the case study. So again, these are not real. They're just for the sake of this assignment. But please assume the following. You are the current vice president of marketing at Foot Locker. Okay, so throughout this whole process, you're going to assume, you're going to pretend that you're Foot Locker's VP of Marketing. That's a pretty cool gig. Congratulations. Um, you're also going to assume, again, not true, but you're going to assume sales at Foot Locker are trending downward and have dropped 19% over the last consecutive three earnings periods. So that's obviously not good. Foot Locker is fast losing mar uh, market share to some of their competitors, such as Finish Line, Under Armour, and Sports Authority. And lastly, rumors are circulating that employees are going to be laid off in order to slash expenses and tighten the budget. Okay? So, what are you going to do? Well, the only uh, part that I'm helping, with, helping you with is, is the following. You've decided to take action. Here's what you've decided to do, and you believe that this action is going to reverse uh, the downward trend of sales into a positive direction. And this is the only um, item I'm going to help you with. You've decided that you're going to hire a new celebrity spokesperson to not just simply endorse your products, but to be the new face and focal point of Foot Locker's advertising campaigns. Okay? Now, in order to do this, your boss, okay, so that's probably the president of the company. If you're VP of marketing, your boss is probably the president of the company, has tasked you with drafting the following. Select a celebrity that you feel best fits Foot Locker's target market. Prepare a photo page presentation informing your boss of the celebrity you chose. Basically, you're going to select your celebrity and then you're going to pitch. We're not just going to write a check and hire the celebrity on right away. You're going to select it and then you're going to pitch your selection to your boss, basically justifying why this is the best pick. And then what you're going to do is you're going to create a new Facebook page for Foot Locker that's promoting your new advertising campaign featuring this celebrity as the focal point. Okay, so those are going to kind of be the major tasks of this project. Select a celebrity that best fits Foot Locker's target market, pitch the celebrity to your boss, and then create a new Facebook page introducing the new advertising campaign that you created um, with this celebrity as the forefront. Okay, those are the major tasks. Um, and so what I've given you now is a template to help you along this process with all sorts of links to all the all different di different pages and information that will help you complete those three major tasks. Okay? Best of luck. Enjoy.